Hello friends and families, in this YouTube video, we will discuss about dress shoes that every gentleman must have. So let's get to it. Okay guys, I am JR Lee and this is Jacos. Hello. He's one of my best friends. So Jacos, before we begin, why don't you tell something about yourself? Well, uh, I'm Jacos. Uh of JR, we met uh, a year ago, more than a year ago, I think. Um, and we became uh, colleagues and then uh, close friends uh, because of the same interest with shoes. So, uh, this is our uh, link um, together. I think what I remember is that um, we had lunch, so, sabay tayo at lunch, and then it was my second day at work because during my first day, I did not see you there. I think you were on the yes, uh, something, something like that. Yeah, I was only um, watching football before. Football? Yes, yeah, so yeah. Okay, and then I think we had lunch, yes. And then all of a sudden, we had a discussion about shoes. Yes. And that, and that from the start, I mean, it sparked something that sparked our uh, common interest. Yeah, actually, with the uh, dress shoes, it's something that we share and uh, we are very passionate about. So, yes, yeah, I think that's the right word. Exactly. Passion. Yes. Exactly. We are really very passionate about our shoes. Okay, bro. I think we can begin with your shoes. So I can see that you have uh, loafers here uh, as one of your dress shoes. So why don't you talk about something about your loafers? Sure. Um, I have with me a black uh, Mars Beat inspired uh, loafer shoe. So basically, um, what uh, this is the less formal of the shoes that we have uh, today. And basically, this is the uh, most comfortable and easiest one to put on and off. So, uh, where do you usually uh, wear the shoe? How do you style it? Well, basically, it's uh, you can uh, use it with jeans, mm -hmm. you can use it with khakis, and because the color is black. Um, you can also use this in the office, especially when you're wearing smart casual. So, uh, but don't use this shoe when you're going to formal events because it's only a casual shoe. Formal events meaning like a black tie, a black tie, black tie event, yes, or uh, maybe a wedding, a wedding or like a that. red carpet, something like that. If you have uh, any events in your office, so you don't wear this shoe because it's the less formal one among, among the, uh, the the shoes. It's still uh, fashionable, it's still uh, very comfortable, so uh, especially when you're traveling, um, I suggest that if you're a business traveler... Oh, it's a slip one. Yes, yes. That's, that's it. At so, some airports, I believe there is a requirement to remove shoes. Exactly. So, so you don't have to tie your shoelaces with this. Exactly. So it's, 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 fix. it's the easiest to remove and it's easy, the easiest to uh, put on. So uh, it's very well recommended for business travelers as well. Alright. Sounds good. So the next shoe that I would like to show you guys is this uh, Monk strap. And from what I've learned, it came from monks, plus the word Monk strap. So this is a walnut color. This is an Allen Edmonds. By the way, what, what brand of shoes is that loafers? Um, actually, uh, this loafer is from Jimmy Choo. So, uh, JC, Jimmy Choo. Yeah, it's, it's quite... Uh, a well-known brand. A well-known brand and a luxury brand, but uh, yeah. But Is Jimmy Choo from the US or the UK? It's uh, from the UK, but uh, mo uh, all of their shoes are made in Okay. So going going back to my monster app, so this is from Allen Edmonds, and uh, the color is uh, brown, but they, they label it as uh, walnut. So basically, this shoe to me is one of the most versatile shoes that I, I own. Because I can wear this wearing a suit, a business casual suit, but like like what like what you said, I cannot wear this uh, during a black tie or a formal event like weddings. But for a business casual suit, in any color of suit, I'll definitely uh, wear this. And um, like what we're wearing today, we're wearing jeans. I'm wearing a white uh, jeans. Jacobs is wearing blue. If you put this on, I'm telling you guys, it will match any of your outfit. So, uh, on a casual setting, I wear this on a polo shirt, a, a polo, a long sleeve polo. I mean, you can match this with, with any with any of your outfit. But actually, not especially. Uh, 
um, during the 2000s actually it's one of the most uh, stylish shoes out there mm -hmm. so um, I, I suggest that each and every uh, gentleman should have this shoe because it's a modern classic it's a I like that word modern it's classic a modern, yeah basically <laughs> it's a modern classic and uh, it's very stylish it's quite unusual but what you, once you put this on it's so nice and uh, I mean I don't have one yet, mm -hmm. but for sure this will be part of my wish list for my next uh, shoe line. By the way, guys, um, among strap comes with uh, the one that I have here with me comes with two buckles, but uh, other among strap, I, among strap, I believe they also come with uh, one buckle. And one thing, I'll just go on uh, with the details of this shoe. If you have a uh, feet that uh, has a, a high arc. I think this is one shoe that I will recommend because you can easily uh, fit this uh, inside your your uh, feet if you have a high mark um, uh, foot because you'll have problems wearing an Oxford. So that's that's my my take on this uh, monstra. It's you can uh, you can wear this in any of your outfit plus the fact that it's so comfortable. So that's all that I can say with my mouse wrap. So let's go to your uh, derby shoes. My second shoe that uh, I have with me is a blue Magnani derby shoe with a cap toe. So if, if you can see guys, the cap toe is quite different with the uh, material uh, of the body of the shoe because the cap toe is made of a genuine lizard. Uh, lizard leather. skin? Lizard, yes. So it's something very durable and quite uh, pleasing to the eye because I mean uh, the design is quite uh, impeccable. It's it's so nice and uh, it's something that you know uh, a lot of people will notice and uh, yeah it's it's really my my rockstar shoe, uh, rockstar dress shoe basically. So uh, it's yeah it's, it's very comfortable because this is a derby. So you, you can adjust when it comes to the, the width of your shoe. So if you're in general, if you're wearing a, a derby shoe, it's easier to put on because yes, it's comfort, much more comfortable, it's, right? Exactly, because it can adjust with the width of your feet. So um, there's really no restriction. So if you have a white feet, so you can just adjust the lacing, mm -hmm. and then uh, you're good to go. And this shoe um, is from Magnani. Uh, it's from it's made in Almanza, Spain. So they, they uh, handcrafted all of, all of their shoes and it's, it's very comfortable. It's a big stitch shoe, mm -hmm. so it's quite stylish as well because you cannot see any um, linings on the Stitching uh, from stitching. the yes. side of the shoe. Yes, exactly. And it's, it's very comfortable. And you know what? I fir at, at first, I thought this was a black shoe. But looking at it uh, closely, it's actually blue. Yes, it's a blue shoe, but it's like it's it's a very dark blue uh, color. So that's the reason why you can, uh, some people are, are confused that confuse it with a black shoe. But as I said, this one is a very comfortable shoe. Actually, this is my favorite shoe in my collection. And yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just happy that this this is actually my first um, dress shoe purchase. Mm, and I'm, wow. I'm 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 quite happy, and uh, I've been wearing this for more than a year now. And up until now, it's one of your favorite. Yes, up, up until now, it's it's really my favorite, and up until now, it's the, the material is still there. I mean, I have some creasing here, but I mean, uh, it it's almost be, unnoticeable the creasing. Exactly, because really the material is um, it's very good, and that's the reason why, guys. I mean, you really need to invest with your dress shoes because in the end, it will last for more than five to ten years if you know how to take care of it. And what I really like about uh, the brand um, Magnani in general is, is that uh, I think all of their shoes comes with this uh, sole guard. So this guys is very important because if you're someone uh, who, who walks or goes to the office and you walk on a rocky pavement, this will actually save your shoes for I think many many years. Because what will happen is that with this leather sole guard, uh, it actually protects the, the leather itself. So I think you'll have um, a longer a longer usage of the shoe. Yeah, that's for sure. Alright, so this is a derby. Um, I also learned by the way that a derby can be interchangeably used with the word blue shirt. Blue shirt, yes. Blue that's shirt. Right. So when you hear the word 
uh, derby or blucher for some countries you know you know guys it's actually the same now uh, the last pair of shoes that we have here is uh, this uh, Oxford shoe from again Alan Edmonds because Alan Ed Edmonds over the years has really become one of my favorite brands so like what uh, Jacob said um, his uh, Derby Magnani shoes is made out of uh, Blake's stitch construction. Now for both of these, this, this uh, Mousetrap and Oxford, they are actually uh, Goodyear welted shoes. Now they say that uh, brown is the new black, but to me bro, personally I'd say that Oxblood is the new black because um, the red and purple color is, I think it's much more like uh, closer to uh, a black because of uh, the darker shade and the way I, I um, use these shoes is when I go to the office so basically on a business casual attire and the color of suit that this matches well are uh, charcoal gray, uh, the light gray, the medium gray even the, the what you call this, the navy blues you can uh, definitely a pair this shoe and what I really like about this shoe is the simplicity of design so like what Jacobs mentioned uh, starting from left uh, left to right what you can see here is the most informal shoes being the loafers but this one guys I like the simplicity of it because this is a business casual shoes so if you are someone who is uh, paid to wear these kinds of shoes this is what we recommend. Say for example you're going for an interview, I'll pick this one definitely among the four because this is a, a much more dressier shoes. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions please write it down in the comments section below. Always take care and bye bye for now.